Hello again folks and welcome to Black Bear Outdoors. Today we're talking about pistol caliber carbines and in particular the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1 carbine. Now if I call it a rifle during the course of this video, excuse me, that's just a, a bit of force of habit. Now CZ really doesn't need any introduction and they've been around since 1936 and they've been making firearms for, that range from hunting rifles to military rifles to pistols to submachine guns and they all have one thing in common, quality. One of their most iconic offerings is probably the CZ-75 pistol, which is still in uh, service today around the world, as well as some of the variants of it that are so popular amongst the competition shooters, especially in the production divisions like the Shadow and the Shadow 2. CZ first introduced the Scorpion Evo 3 S1 as a pistol variant in 2009, and more recently, the carbine version of that was born with a longer barrel. So what we're going to be doing guys is we're going to take it inside, take a closer look at the features it offers, then we'll bring it back out and we'll ring some steel with it and we'll uh, throw a whole bunch of different kinds of ammo through it to see how well it functions. Stay tuned. All right, folks, now that we've got it on the table, let's take a closer look. Now, as usual, we're going to be looking at it from the muzzle uh, to the buttstock, and uh, we'll go through all the features one by one. Now, you'll notice on our particular one, we have the faux suppressor or the barrel shroud. It's not an actual suppressor. It does nothing to the sound. Uh, it's just cosmetic. So it looks nice, and we actually added that. That's from, I hope I pronounce this correctly, Delask Arms. Um, I'll roll in a picture of what it looked like when we first got it with the muzzle brake on there as well. Now if we move backwards a little bit, um, you'll see we've got a, a polymer handguard here full of M-lock, so you can attach whatever you want to on this very easily. Um, and it's pretty sturdy, so don't worry about hanging too much weight on that, I'm sure. Uh, the sights that it comes with are a metal, and they're pretty nice. They're fully adjustable, the front and rear sights. Uh, we'll take a closer look at the rear sight in a minute, but you can see it's like a it's a peep sight there as well. Now the charging handle, uh, you can see you can also um, put it on the left hand side or the right hand side if you want. It is by default on the left if we flip it over like this. What I do like about the charging handle, it's got that HK thing going where you can pull it back and lock it up, right? So if you want to disengage the or drop the uh, the bolt, you can do the HK slap with it if you like, or use the uh, bolt release that's very conveniently located when you insert a mag. Let's flip it around. When you insert a mag into that, you can easily just close the bolt with the little bolt release there, right? It's uh, safety selector is ambidextrous from the factory. Um, you'll notice, we'll show you what it does on the opposite side and this is a complaint that a lot of people have in regards to this particular safety selector. So if you move from safe to fire it digs into your finger there as you can see which is pretty bad and that's a very easy fix like we did with this one is you can just put a safety delete in there so on whichever side is your off, off side right now uh, it's got a couple of uh, sling attachments, it's just loops there so it's not QD points, just be aware of that. It's got a full Picatinny rail at the top as well so you can mount any kind of lights or lasers or whatever you feel like doing there. And uh, yeah, it's got a nice and uh, forgiving mag well, it's kind of flared out there. Very easy to seat magazines and I'll show you. Very easy to seat your magazine, this is an empty one of course. Um, you also notice that we manipulate the firearm all the safe directions predetermined and it's been cleared before we started. Okay, so the mag release is pretty cool uh, because you can do it in two different ways. Now if you flip it over like this, you can either, when you release the, uh, or remove your mag, use your thumb to release it with a little paddle or you can use your trigger finger or middle finger to pop it out that way. So it's fully ambi and it's pretty cool. The grip angle is pretty severe. Um, for some people, they say they don't like it. Uh, for me, that's not a big issue. Really didn't bother me. I will probably put a Magpul one on there with a slightly less uh, less of an angle, just because I'm more used to that kind of A2 style grips, right? 
uh, the, the trigger pull from the factory, let's take a quick look. Alright, so here's the factory trigger pull. It's a little bit heavy. And there it breaks. See the reset. Pretty heavy, but uh, that's how it goes. Alright, so the rear sights are, uh, I hope you can see those. Um, they are a peep sight with a whole bunch of different apertures. I think there's about four of them and varying sizes so uh, and it's fully adjustable as well so pretty decent uh, iron sights that you get from the factory on this and moving back to the buttstock here uh, you will notice that the kind of slope that it has here it's really nice actually because of the that contour allows you to get in behind the, the sights that are pretty low on the on the actual Picatinny rail there you can of course remove them and put your favorite sights on there if you'd like as well the stock is uh, adjustable for length and a pretty neat feature is it's a folding stock. It uh, attaches with a magnet so it doesn't lock into place with a clip or anything like that. It's just magnetic but it's nice and sturdy. You can see it, uh, it's pretty solid. Stock itself is pretty solid too. Nothing to complain about there. I really like the magazines it comes with. It's very sturdy and it's quite affordable. It is a proprietary mag uh, but unlike uh, you know normal pistol mags it's probably half the price right so and another great feature I like about this which I'm going to show you by the using some snap caps is the way you load them you don't load them like a normal pistol mag they actually load from the top very much like a like a rifle magazine right so you just uh, push them in from the top there so pretty easy instead of rocking them in like a pistol you just push them straight down which is pretty cool yeah, this is a direct blowback operated uh, carbine, so which means it's got a heavy bolt in it and it's going to be very, very, very reliable. So yeah guys, that's pretty much all I can tell you about the uh, carbine on the table. Let's get to the fun stuff and uh, see how well it functions. All right, folks, here we are outside with the uh, CZ Scorpion. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, Ipsic two-third size uh, AR500 steel targets out in the field here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to send out the drone to show you where they're located, and we'll get right to it. So we're going to try a few different uh, types of ammo through our CZ Scorpion and we're going to be taking aim at that target that's uh, approximately 50 yards away. First up is going to be our Blazer Brass 115 grain ammo. Let's see how it goes. Not too bad. Just bear in mind, we have not uh, adjusted the sights at all. It's just factory sights as is. Next up, we're going to try some 124 grain Syntec ammo from Federal, and it's those uh, red coated ones. Ran perfectly doesn't drop free though. Next we got the Hornady Zombie Max which is like a critical defense round just got a green little tip on it. Perfect. Next up we got uh, some 115 grain full metal jacket Magtech ammo. No problems there. 
This time we got some uh, Remington Range Bucket 9mm, 115 grains as well. No problems, runs, runs like a champ. So guys, our final thought on the Scorpion uh, Evo 3 S1 carbine. It is a fantastic little rifle. Uh, this thing is incredibly fun to shoot. It's affordable, um, it's durable, it's high quality from a manufacturer like CZ. And uh, I can see its application, you know, for guys in military and law enforcement, definitely. For us, this is gonna be a great uh, range toy as well as a really good way to get rid of some predators environments with inside 100 yards. So guys, if you enjoyed our video uh, or learned something new, please hit that subscribe button on the next page. You're gonna look like a black bear badge. Uh, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment and we'll get back to those as soon as we possibly can. You guys have a good one and we'll see you next time.